I took a break from this YouTube channel just as I was growing because I'm lazy. I don't want anyone to combat that in any way. I stopped posting because I hate editing. I love posting, I love getting notifications of new subscribers and comments, and I love filming. But I hate editing. When you love everything about a process but one thing, you learn to push through. But I'm lazy, so I didn't learn, I just pushed through. The printout with the directions for this scrunchie is in the description, this is not sponsored in any way. This is a disclaimer before we continue that I'm a beginner sewer with extremely basic tools and terrible technique. I know what I need to fix, so I'm not taking any criticism at this time. One pattern I fall into is telling myself that one day I'll do blank, and all of these things that I want to do come from the base desire to be interesting. My thoughts and fears of not being interesting despite everything I've done brought me down a peg, and without confidence, as you may know, becoming the best version of yourself is futile. Recently, I've reflected, and here are some things that make me interesting. One, I used to have a webcomic. Two, I have released a song in the Cherokee language. Three, I have a PDF business on Etsy, which you may not know about. Four, I love my dog more than I could ever love a human. And that one's silly, but sometimes silly things matter. And five, I have a secret YouTube channel and TikTok account. And now I can add that I can sew. After reflecting, I've realized that I'm very fortunate for my opportunities. I am interesting. And I am made even more interesting by my thoughts, feelings, habits, and the little things that I didn't write down. However, there is nothing I'm an expert at. I tend to jump from obsession to obsession, never mastering anything, and forgetting other trades in the process. I just want to find one thing that I'm good at. I've been searching for that one thing for a really long time. At the moment, I'm working towards becoming a better writer, which is the only interest I've consistently had over a long period of time. For a very long time, I was confident in myself, and then COVID hit, and I lost a lot of social skills and friends. Then my confidence became false. Feeling like I'm interesting is important because, in a way, feeling like I'm interesting is feeling like I'm deserving of all the opportunities I'm getting. After my recent reflection and realizing that I am interesting in many ways, I still strive to become a better person with more hobbies. Because that's something that I prioritize seeing as I'm so independent. A good way for me to motivate myself to learn new hobbies is by making a list, because I just love checking off a list. I love a paper list, but unfortunately digital is just more accessible. The problem with my bucket list is that it's for experiences, not skills. I think one way to become more well-rounded and feel more full is by creating a bucket list of skills instead of experiences. I recommend everyone try it. Here's my bucket list of skills I want to learn. 1. Sewing clothing. 2. Certain home renovation skills. 3. Organizing finances. 4. Hemming clothes. 5. Writing fantasy. 6. Video editing. 7. Traveling. Yes, it's a skill. 8. Cooking. 9. Baking, and 10. Singing. There are some skills that I will never like doing, even though I want to. And those are skills that I did not add to the list. I don't recommend that you add them to your list either. Unless it's a necessary skill, such as doing basic math or cooking, there's no use in disappointing myself. And once I've accomplished the goals on this list, I can add more, ones that are more challenging. Look, challenging yourself is good, but these goals that you'll put on your list will already do that. Learning anything can be challenging, but there's no use for a challenge within a challenge, or one that you're doomed to fail. 
This song has been sung many a time, but it's important for me to say it to myself instead of having someone else say it to me. It's easy to compare myself to others, but at the end of the day, I'm not social, have different circumstances, and a different skill set. This, of course, goes for you as well. You have different circumstances than anyone else, you have different skill sets, and you enjoy different things. So don't compare yourself too harshly to others. I've made videos like this before. I come back from a break thinking I've found something that works and then leave again. This video is not that. This video is me declaring that I'm on my own timeline, partially to myself because I don't know how I'm going to do that. Being on my own timeline means that I'm going to follow the timeline that's natural, not one that's forced. There are many things I want to do, but I can't bring myself to start. This may not make sense in theory, but again, I know I'm not alone in this. The way I'm overcoming this hurdle, editing, is by scaling up slowly. For example, when I can streamline my video making process, I'll scale to make more videos. But for now, I'm still figuring out how to be more interesting. Or, in a healthier way to say it, become the me I see in my future. Because really, there's no harm in wanting to be more interesting. There's only harm in telling yourself that you're not interesting altogether because that's simply not true. The following isn't in the actual script. I just wanted to say it. One thing that I've always wanted to do was romanticize my life, but I find that kind of hard to do without filming, which is why I gravitated towards YouTube. I want to thank everyone who's watched or enjoyed my vlogs in one way or another, no matter if you clicked off in the first few seconds or if you're listening to this at the very end. I also wanted to tell you not to worry about me. I may be a little lost in life right now, but everyone is from time to time. If I don't reply to comments, it might be because I'm feeling overwhelmed. But again, don't worry, I'm pretty good at regulating my emotions. I'm just not that social. And of course, no matter how many times I change up my content style, I'm still the same person. As you can see, I just made tea, which has been a staple of mine for a very long time. Well then, I suppose this is the part of the video where I bid you farewell and tell you to go follow my Pinterest. There's both my personal and my Etsy business Pinterest in the description. My Etsy business um, link is also there. I haven't actually made any sales yet, but I never really expected to. I just kind of wanted to share some of my art. Oh, and my TikTok will also be down there. Between long form content, um, whenever I may upload next, I'll be posting TikToks and YouTube shorts. So remember to check that out. Bye.